Hi there, and welcome to the show. This is Coffee with Craig. I'm your host, Craig Hamilton Parker. I'm a psychic medium. And if you're here for the first time, this is a show where we talk about the future. I make predictions about the future, make a lot of programs about the world's future and what's going to happen in the world and and try to answer some of those burning questions about the the way ahead. But today we're going to do um, some Chinese horoscopes. So you'll be having your sign will be up. But first, I'm going to talk a bit about um, world events, how the year of the dragon is going to affect world events. So there'll be a little bit of that at the beginning, then your particular sign if you've come in for your particular sign. So if you enjoy the show, do follow us. If you enjoy this type of thing, do also consider getting a reading with myself for the year ahead by email as an audio reading. But you'll see the details in the description below. Anyway, welcome to Coffee with Craig. So 10th of February 2024 sees the beginning of the year of the dragon. In fact, the year of the wood dragon, as the element dictates for this year. So the dragon in China is considered a symbol of great um, creativity, of strength. It's the yang element. It's very much a sense of good fortune in Chinese culture. So this should be quite a positive year ahead. It's a very optimistic year. The people that are born in the year of the dragon are believed to be very ambitious people. Mothers in China always want their babies to be of the year of the dragon. I'll hold on to the year of the dragon, you know, uh, and the, the, because their children are likely to be not only ambitious, but charismatic type of people, natural leaders, uh, quite skilled in pretty much all, all, all things. And they're thought to possess very high intelligence, uh, very enthusiastic people um, with a very strong sense of self-confidence. And those same qualities apply to the year that's coming in 2024. This idea of strong leadership, which is going to be seen throughout the world, uh, enthusiasm, a lot of energy and the potential to good fortune. Now, the wood element adds a different quality to it. China is a is a red dragon, but this is a green dragon when we get the wood element. Um, and in the Chinese zodiac, the uh, wood element is, gives the dragon sign a sense of growth. A uh, sense of flexibility uh, and creativity. And so when these combine in the dragon, it means we're going to have a year which is emphasizes things like expansion, um, innovation, uh, adaptability. And just like the people that are born of this year of the dragon, they'll, they'll be seen as individuals who are strong with a strong will to succeed, who are also open to new ideas um, and capable of uh, navigating many of the um, challenges in life. So it's quite an optimistic um forecast when we see the year of the dragon ahead um but also it does have a few caveats because not every year of the dragon has been a favorable time and there are dangers with the year of the dragon that um this tremendous energy can also become arrogance that the power of leadership can also turn to dictatorship um and and so forth so i'm going to examine some of those things too as we look forward to 2024 year of the wood dragon so now the year of the ox in 2024 so the year of the wood dragon is very good for the ox it should be a time when you should find a lot of prosperity um you should be bold during this year and think big during this year you there will be lots of opportunities come your way particularly in career and anything of investments and the chasing of wealth is considered as being a good, good energetic time for this. Um, you should be helped by 
um, by helpful people, mainly male, actually, who would be willing to help you if you ask for help. So you can find mentors, you can find business partners, you can find guidance and help from others. Um, it's a time also to polish your skills. Um, if you've already developed skills, develop them more polish the skills as it were. So if you've started something, finish it off and become the master of what you do. It's a very good period to, to finally sort of perfect things that you might have been struggling with over a period of time. Um, this is also a very good time to um, expand. It's a very expansionist sort of time. It's a time to reaching out for the ox. Um, a good time if you're in sales or marketing to to reach out. If you're looking for career changes, it's a very good time to, to reach out in the career side of your life uh, and look for opportunities and new opportunities. So it's considered a fortunate time. Um, it's um, an idea of getting, it's a time to have new visions, new ideas, not get stuck in the old. This is one of the negatives. We don't want to get stuck in an old model. It, we've got to find new models and, like I say, perfect the things you've already started to develop. Um, it can be a period of disagreements. It can be divisions also in this period. Um, it can be an inability to connect with other people, to not see the other side of an argument. This has got to be careful. And this is a time when uh, some of the Chinese of astrologers have said that it's a time when you can be bothered a bit by sad events. So you mustn't um, let if bad things happen, don't let them pull you down too much. Um, and there can be, um, you've got to be careful with some of your investments too because of malicious activities of others. But generally, it's a quite a positive time for advancement. It's like with everything in life, we have to be on the lookout for anything, any signs that might try to pull us down uh, and keep persisting. And like I say, keep developing your skills. This is supposed to be a good time for romance. Um, Commitment in particular is, is shown during this period. Um, the um, This situation could be such that if, if there's been a relationship that has been um, maturing over a period of time, this is the year when it could turn into a marriage. Um, it's a time to let it happen uh, naturally as well, not to force things. But this is a time when uh, for your sign, it's a good time for the, the long term bonds. So on a romantic side, you know, this could be your year. This could be a good year to get married. Well, I hope you enjoyed those uh, readings for 2024 for the signs of the Chinese Zodiac. Um, and generally quite an optimistic time, as, as you would have seen. Um, most signs are going to benefit during this period, a time of a lot of energy. It's the yang energy, isn't it, of the dragon that's pushing us forward. There's a lot of creativity that comes with that, a lot of um, energy to do good or bad. And and I think during this year, we're going to see a, a better, a better um, personal life, you know, around us. How the world uses this energy is always the way it is. It, it was a quick, important question, is it? Will will it be used for good or bad? But in our own lives, we've got um, opportunities shown coming in 2024. So let's use them properly. And thanks for joining me today. If you enjoy listening to me, um, you might also enjoy the readings that we do on the website. Go and have a look at um, my website at psychics.co.uk um, and you'll be able to see the uh, forecasts for the year. And you might want to get a, a forecast, an email reading perhaps for the year ahead, which is all there now available on the website. So uh, come and book a reading with me for the year ahead. OK, see you soon. Bye for now. If you look back at my earlier predictions, and in particular the predictions I made on the, the newspaper, The Sun's um, website, I did actually say on there, the actual words were, there will be a flu epidemic linked to bioterrorism.
And my thoughts are that Liz Truss will make it to the final, um, be the, be the next PM. I think she will actually have a final battle between her and Rishi Shunak. We've not seen the full end of Boris Johnson either, I tell you. But Rishi Shunak actually will eventually, I feel, be the next leader of the Conservatives. So I think there's going to be a few conflicts that Britain's going to be drawn into, including um, I think Russia is going to take some moves against Ukraine. I think she will make it past her Platinum Jubilee, which comes up this year. But I think after that, we'll see a sudden and quick deterioration in the Queen's health. And um, I think I think we might lose the Queen towards the end of 2022. There's going to be a huge, huge backlash um, uh, from over the Netflix programmes and screening because I feel it comes out in at a bad time. Charles will come to, to become King Charles. Um, but his reign, I feel, will be short. I said that um, Prince Charles would be hit by an egg. And of course, there it is, all in the press today. A huge swarm of people knocking the doors of Europe and America. Um, and I feel that Ukraine conflict is going to be a kind of a grinding conflict that goes on and on. I also feel that there's something going to happen in the Middle East as well. I, I, I feel as if there's going to be a sudden and unexpected thing happen in the Middle East. So I feel they're going to take it into their own hands and I feel we're going to get a strike from Israel. This is going to be one of the significant things in 2023.